son. I'm a bus driver in uh, Kfar Saba. I, was, uh, I grew up in kibbutz and I uh, come back from the army, from the army to the kibbutz and start to work in computers outside from the kibbutz. One year I decided uh, I was uh, in really desperation. I want to do something, uh, I want change. Uh, I was thinking about to move to the uh, USA and, and start uh, working in uh, a wash uh, sweeper, also in oil painting. Uh, oil painting on canvas, uh, like we selling that in the neighborhood. My boss uh, said to me, "You are a good seller. Don't leave. Uh, we're going to St. Louis, and it's in St. Louis. We're going to work normal. This was uh, Sundays. We're going to the neighborhood. I see a police car." Policemen uh, go outside from the car and uh, call me, give me your painting, give me your hand, and they arrest me, put me in the car. Two hours, we go in two hours to some uh, area in Missouri, county jail. Uh, they put us in jail. They think we have a fake passport. We, have, we are Palestinians with, with fake passport and we belong to what's happened to the 9-11. They tell us, uh, which, uh, they charge us in uh, uh, illegal work. In the jail, uh, I was very in uh, desperation, like zombie I was. I thinking I was in movie. I don't know what's happened to me. One day, some uh, prisoner, black prisoner who was leaving the jail come to our level and all the prisoners uh, are, uh, gather around this, this man and he start to uh, to preach and Jesus, Jesus, Jesus and uh, uh, we don't understand what he's talking about and they said what are you talking about? Yeshu, Yeshu, Yeshu in Hebrew it, uh, it's a curse, it's not uh, Yesh Yeshua. In this time, I don't know the name, it's Yeshua. So we not listen to him. After a couple of days, I was in the cell, my cell room. I was laid down in my bed. I was alone and I thinking about my family. And uh, when I come back, suddenly I feel uh, I am shaking and a uh, group is, I start to cry. I feel some, some, someone uh, come and hug me, someone hug me, and all the hated and uh, the desperation, depression was going down. Someone, a strong glove, hug me. I don't know what's happened to me, but I don't know what's happened to me, but I know something he, he talking about, the preacher, Jesus, was here now. I was uh, jumping from the bed and I looking for him, the, this prisoner. I found him and I, and I asked him, what's happened to me? What's happened to me? I have so, the, He looked at me and said, this is the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. This is the Spirit of God. He prayed for me. He told me, you are Christian now. So I tell him, but I want to be Jewish and not Christian. So he told me, no, you are Christian, you're not Jewish. I said to myself, if this happened, okay, I'm not Jewish, I'm Christian, but I know that after I come back to Israel, I know that uh, he do mistake because he don't know uh, that Jewish can believe in uh, Jesus. After this, I come to uh, my Israel friend and I uh, said to them, uh, I am a Christian now, I believe in Jesus. <laughs> so they look at me like this. You are crazy, you get crazy. <laughs> we come back home to Israel and uh, my family pick me up from the airport. We're going home and I said to my sister, don't tell my mother, but I'm Christian now, I believe in Jesus. She, she looked at me also like this. and. You need a sh uh, you need a shrink or something like this. <laughs> you are 
you have something hard, you're going through uh, some, something hard in the jail and you need uh, help. Nobody understand me. <laughs> so in Israel, in Tel Aviv, I look New Testament in Hebrew, going to Bible stores. I get inside to the store and I said to them, I said, was lady, hello, I'm Christian, I believe in Jesus, in Yeshua. <laughs> So they, uh, she uh, said to me, see, first of all, the name Yeshua, not Yeshu. Yeshu, it's a curse, Yeshua. I said, what? Yeshu? Yeshua? Not Yeshu? There are a lot of congregation in, the, in Israel to Messianic Jewish. A lot of people believe in uh, Jesus. She wrote, uh, wrote to me an uh, address of congregation. I go and... To, and this was before 10 years. <laughs> I uh, don't think about God. I don't look, in, I look for God. I don't search. I was a uh, music woman, uh, uh, drugs. I was uh, very uh, atheist and uh, I don't care. <laughs> and uh, he found me. <laughs> he changed me. <laughs> I was a time uh, that was uh, in believe you have uh, down and go up and down. If I can uh, tell you a story, before uh, two years, uh, two years, uh, one and a half years, and I was uh, very far away from God. In the start, when I start to believe in uh, Jesus, I was very radical and. Uh, in fire. And, uh, after a couple of years, something happened to me. I am fall and and start to get far away from God. This was before two years, and my baby uh, died before two months. When she was in pregnant, this with this baby, we found that he have a heart defect in his heart. I remember. The night, uh, I tell my wife, maybe I am uh, want to run away, uh, I can't be with, uh, with this situation. But in this morning, in the morning, uh, something happened to me. I go into the bathroom and in the bathroom, suddenly I feel what's hap uh, happened to me in the jail. Someone hugged me and I, I heard the God say to me, uh, don't worry, I love you very much, I love you, I love you. And suddenly I feel so love to my baby, have the problems. I go out from, from the bathroom and I go and I start to worship again after one and a half year that I not worship. Uh, God bring, bring me back to Him because of these situations. I believe Jesus is alive and work with me, work in me. He give my life, he give me, give me another chance, a new life to me, and uh, pick me up from the <laughs> from the deep, deep of the darkness and save me from uh, from hell. Hallelujah. <laughs>